Right, so I tend to start at the back of the foot and you can do that by having them stand up, pick up their leg and bend it backwards like this. Move your feathers out the way. Um, we trim those. Um, we don't want to cut these off when we're going to clear up here at the big pad. Um, so I use the straights for these. Um, he is going to be very fidgety, so apologies for that. Um, we pick up his feet. Um, now you can run your hand down like this, and we will cut. Um, I like to expose the back of the pad. You can feel where it ends. Ends. So we're going to cut there, um, and. We can do this on a front leg, um, but not with the hock because you don't want to cut your hock off. So we don't do it that way, but I'll just move his main feathers out the way and all these short ones, um, and we'll cut a straight line across. Uh, you can just take some off first and then you can always go back and take some more. <clears throat> And also here on the sides, you can just, don't be scared there, just cut that off. And then the bottom of the foot. Now, important thing is when you trim in these, um, I don't know if your dog goes to groomers, some groomers might be tempted to shave it out, all of this hair, uh, which you can do using these wool clippers. Right, up, Neo, up, Neo, stand up. Up. Um, you can clip the feet out on pet dogs if uh, you've got a lot of wet and muddy weather. It is handy for dogs not to be bringing wet footprints all the time in, and I've done that. That's why he's back of his feet on so long, because he had them clipped out for the winter completely. Um, but on show dogs, you must not clip the feet. You only trim um, level with the pads um, so don't clip it out if you don't need to do not misbehave please stop it um, this is what I mean he's terrible so and also they, they toes move so where you're trimming you always want the two pads uh, where you're trimming to be level with each other um, so that you can take it as close as possible and we just tidy that up um, uh, stop 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 now um, then uh, we've got the most of the back here so you just go level with the pads careful don't cut your dog um, no, no stop that please um, and now we're going to do the, sorry, this is going to be a bit painful because it's not greatest. Uh, and now we've got the sides. A lot of people do this. No, you can't lay down. Do you understand? I'm making a video, Stumpy. Everybody wants to see how we do feed. Right. Um, no. Up. You can't lay down. Get up. 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 And stop kicking my scissors up. Neo, behave now. See what I mean? He's terrible. So we've got the uh, feet. And you're going to have a lot of hair hanging um, on the edges of the foot. So we'll pick his foot up. And we'll trim these. He doesn't have a lot hanging here. But you'll find on some of yours... And you'll just go around, don't go up into this section here. We do it differently and just tidy the, no, the edges of the toes. And you might have to move their toes out and push them. I normally do this with the clippers but if you haven't got them that's why I'm showing you with the scissors mm. 
how you turn the foot is totally up to you and up to the dog. Whatever's easier, then, and this is why I like doing it laying down. Stop. Um, because he just lays down and I can turn his foot whichever way I want to. Um, stop, 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 stop. And we'll tidy around. the edges of his toes. Now, we're leaving that last. Um, no. Uh, right. Uh, this is going to be quite a mission, but just bear with us. It's not easy to do his feet. Uh, now, please be good boy. Um, come on. I need your foot. Neo. Neo. Now, we're going to what we do here really depends how you trim the end of the feathers there but i like to expose the foot because gordon should have a, a lot of people just go from the toe and they just go up into the feathers without exposing the big pad on the side now that's fine if it suits the dog but why i like to expose because from the side view, when the dog is standing, you want the foot to be nice and short, round, cat-like foot. And by exposing the big pad, you shorten the foot. Um, so, you, you, it, for me, it looks better. I like to do it. Now, can you please not be like this? Um, now, don't cut that way. Um, if you want to expose the pad because it's it, you kind of have to go turn around the pad and if you go this way you will cut a sharp hole into the side here so we do it from the other side um, we do it this way and to make that line nice uh, you could see where his pad is end of the pad and we'll push his toe as straight as possible because we can cut in a straight line and uh, forget down here the feathers that's not important now and uh, we'll cut exposing wait near wait exposing the pad and pushing his toe out and now it's almost a straight line and when I drop it um, he's got we'll tidy that up but he's got that nice round around the pad by pushing it that way um, and then we come back um, and tidy here and you see no near up you cannot lay down now stop that, please. Stop it. Um, he's got, there's some hair there, the black hair. Now, no. And if we don't trim that, see there's a little bit of black hair. When he stands, it, it protrudes. And for that, you can take it off with your scissors. Um, but for that, uh, we'll tidy it up. We'll come back to that with the clippers. Now, stop now. And now I can go back and fix this uh, sharp line there because now I know from this from this curve that I've got where I need to go. Just gently. And we'll go out on the angle but not much into the bottom of those feathers there because that we cover up, tidy up. And now we'll come back to the this black bit here above his, no, no. Now I know how far up I can go because you don't want the black hair now hanging at the back here. So now we know exactly up to where to trim that. Without 
stop 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 and i've got the nice curve here and um the bottom of his feathers that's uh comes in to tidy up after um right and now we're going to move to do the front uh between his toes now some pet groomers clip it out again do not clip it out you want that hair there but we want to trim it nicely and uh, they tend to curl um, around the toes sideways like that and also if you could see depending on the light um, he's got these longer hair are quite light in color now on Gordon's you want as clean color as possible um, and so I don't want to try color foot with tan markings there's a little bit of black on his toes which is acceptable and then he's got this light hair so I'm going to trim everything that is not black and tan because I want his color to be good as well so I'm not going to leave these light colors light colored hair there uh, you can brush it up but brush I find doesn't pull no stop it uh, doesn't pull everything up the best is to use your fingers and just pull the hair all right lay down maybe he will lay down no this way oh, he's a nightmare he's a nightmare guys now come here can i have your foot please maybe if we put his foot no because you can't see uh okay just bear with me guys Right, how about this? Okay, we might be able to do this. Um, now you get a picture of both of his feet. So, you can use your fingers to pull the hairs up um, from in between. And I'll start on the edges. And uh, now the aim is, when you trim feet, is only to take out the hairs that come from the middle and out sideways you don't want to trim anything off the top of his toes that's how you get the choppy look i've trimmed a little bit too short over there i don't know if camera shows it but you want all of his hair on his feet to be the natural length without cutting it so normally people just do it um they either cut that way or that way and you are told to cut everything off that overhangs now the problem with that way of doing it is that if you start trimming you will get too close and you will end up cutting top of your to uh, fingers if you like his fingers um, and you'll end up cutting there and there and that's how you get the choppy look so what we what I do is I always work my way in that way and uh, pulling the hairs out um, um, on this side it doesn't curl over so we just trim that short and on the bottom there I, I'm spreading his two toes apart gen uh, slightly and if you see I'm kind of moving my scissors I'll grab the hair and I keep going slightly upwards so that I don't cut anything here in the in the corners uh, to get a choppy look. So we'll go, we'll work our way up that way. And I'm spreading his toe out. I'm working on the inside there. It normally goes a lot quicker but I'm just trying to work slowly so that you see what I'm doing now this one is curling over that way so I will pick it up with my I'll slide my blade under there and I'll move the hair out you see I'll move it to the side and I'll start cutting sort of level 
um, with the inside of his toe. And you see this way, I'm not cutting anything on top of his toe there where you get the choppy look. And then on the inside, then I'll use my fingers to pull out what I've missed. And again, I'll spread his toes. I'll move my blade under and I'll just come that way. And here, I'll push the hair in like that, cut in, because again, I'm cutting the corners out without destroying or putting, you know, I need your foot, stop it. Uh, without cutting these corners out to get the choppy look. So take your time when you do this. And that is what, this is why I've always done it with them laying down because whatever it takes to have them stay still, my back is killing me all the time for doing this, but at least I can sit there and I've learned to do this. I would sit in front of TV, lay the dog between my, uh, uh, um, between my legs, sit on the floor, watch TV and slowly just chip away. It would take me, I could easily spend an hour um, or two doing feed, just because I had the time. There was no need to rush. Um, we're not rushing anywhere. And I could just take my time. I am a little bit perfectionist when it comes to feed. I don't want a single hair sitting out of the place. And then keep going back. We'll come back once he's standing. But as you see, I've left, I didn't put a chop mark there in that corner. We'll tidy up a bit more because he's got very greyish hair in on the sides there. And that I want to trim all of it off because I don't want to draw attention to miscoloured hair on his feet. So anything. Um, now, you also would need to trim a bit more in there but this is and you can move the hair with your thumb push it around the nail and you can just trim along the side of the pads that way now we're going to don't forget to trim and up to your nails i've already trimmed his nail short so you want to everything that will poke out this way stay um you will trim off we don't want it to overhang you can again i'm spreading his toes out and move with my thumb i'll push the middle hair out ah, ah. and um his toes should be level spread them out and trim everything off that protrudes And now I'll use my fingers to move the hairs up and whatever's curled over his toes. I'll get my thinners. And again, I will move my blade under the, under these. If he's at the, no. Uh, I will put my blade, slide my blade under the curl. Trying to do it so that you can see. Spread his toes. I'll move to the side and I'm cutting on the side. Anything that curls over, I'll move it with my scissors. And you see I'm cutting between his toes because if you get chop marks in between your toes, that's fine, you won't see that. And same on this side. I will pick up this curl over, slide it over, so it's not over his toe, and I'm cutting in between on the sides. Um, and the key is not to chop anything off the top of his fingers. Um, and then again, we've got a lot still in the middle. And there you can spread the toes and put your scissors right in between his toes 
and you can take out as much as you like in there um, on show dogs again i wouldn't take too much out i have i've had a judge once to check um to actually look because judges do like feet padded with hair for protection now um so you don't want to go too short but on pets you can clear out but again i wouldn't clip between the toes because if you do that you will have a massive hole in between their toes if you take out too much um and now again i'm going to use this motion of ah, let me have your foot um of going with my scissors i'll go in and i'll cut and i'll pick up hair this way and i'll move the scissors up and I'm slightly grabbing the hairs with the scissors, pull them up uh, and cut the middle bits out. And you can really, and if we're going that way, we trim it under, <laughs> then you lay your hairs down again and then you check what else you want to trim there. And again, I don't want these light coloured hairs. See, there's a few little blonde ones. And I want to trim as much off of it possible because, like I said, I don't want to try colour foot. I want two colour foot, just black and tan, because some of his black is there. So again, I'm moving it to the side and trimming along the side of his toes. And anything that's not a colour, that up one there. And I like to take my 